Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. Oh, you want to fight me? You want to fight me, Nidorino? Get the heck out of my face. I almost said the H-E double hockey sticks word. Yeek. I remember the last time I said that in the video, which wasn't too long ago, everybody freaked out. Oh my god, he swore. In my opinion, that really doesn't count as a swear. Guys, I've been working here. Let me just show you right now. By the way, this uh, savanna has been cleared out by Fedrin. Ooh, is that a Cyndaquil? I think this is a starter, isn't it? Quilava. Oh, Quilava, and then it evolves into Cyndaquil, right? I think I want this thing. Oh, no, Zangoose is unable to battle. Uh, Here we go. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to use... I have a bunch of balls, by the way. I've been increasing my ball inventory, my ball repertoire. So, look. I have all kinds of them. I'm going to use a quick ball because it's most effective with, as the first move in a battle. And hopefully this will be... Oh, he broke free. I've heard these guys are tough to catch. Let me... uh. Poliwhirl, let's try to fight him a little bit. 25 to 14. We don't want to hit him too much. Maybe we could just hypnotize him. He's sleeping now. This will be a little bit more effective. Let's try now. I guess we have to try an Ultra Ball. Hopefully this works. So I'm in a savanna because I'm looking for a Vulpix. Um, because I want a Ninetales. So shout out to Xandere. Hopefully I pronounced that properly. For writing out a beautiful, beautiful comment with all kinds of information. And at the end, this is my favorite part. Um, don't worry about doing too well in the tournament, he said. He or she says. Just choose the Pokemon you think are cool. Have a balanced team and have fun. See, those are my favorite type of comments. Yes, very, very knowledgeable. Uh, it provided me with tons of information, which I am very thankful for. But then at the end was like, listen, it's all about having fun. And that's what this series is all about. I really want to fight this Kalava or or capture it. What should I do? Should I punch it in the Ooh. face? Body slam is probably going to kill it. Okay, no, it didn't kill it. That's good. Bag. Ultra ball. Come on, Kalava. Let me catch you already. Oh, I broke free immediately. So um, I've caught a lot of Pokemon off camera. I will show you guys in a second. As soon as this guy... Ah, he broke free again. As soon as this guy gets caught. Okay, I caught him. Uh, yeah, like I said, the savannah is courtesy of Fedrin. She has cleared it out in hopes of finding a ditto. I believe she did find a ditto, by the way. So that's kind of cool. And then she's got this PC here. So let's start from the beginning. <sighs> okay, I've been trying to follow directions, and um, I really want a Murkrow. But I've been trying to find a Murkrow with the right nature, and I'm looking for a jolly nature. This one's got lax. This one's got naive. This one's got modest. This one's got impish. This one's got quirky, and this one's got adamant. So none of them have the jolly nature that I'm looking for, so I'm still looking for a Murkrow. Then I wanted to catch an Abra with a timid nature. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Abras later, 12 Abras later, and I finally find one with a timid nature. So I'm happy about this. These guys are now level 25. Uh, so that's good. Gyarados 25, Graveler 25, and... I'm sure that the people who are going to be taking part in this tournament might be watching. I'm not sure I'm sure that they might be watching. <laughs> I think that sentence makes sense. So I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. You guys don't know which three I'm going to bring. So suck it, losers. Uh, then I wanted a Ghastly. Uh, and again, I wanted it with the right nature. So I'm looking for Timid or Naive. Timid or Naive. Are you ready for this? Relaxed. Adamant. Hardy. Sassy, mild, gentle, and hasty. <laughs> so no timid or naive. Then I wanted to star you with a timid nature. Hardy, adamant, jolly. Couldn't find it. I found a Mr. Mime. I'm not sure if this uh, modest nature, special attack 57. I guess that's pretty good. The attack stat is low, but special attack is good, right? Because his, uh, his are all going to be mostly special. So that's okay. I might use him. Actually, let's put him on, on the list here. This, these are the might uses. Um, then I found a Frillish, and I caught it just because it looked weird. Togetic. So, Mr. Xandere uh, has said that uh, Togekiss is actually really good. And it comes from Togepi and then Togetic. Uh, but I have to evolve it with a shiny stone. I'm not sure how to do that just yet, so let's leave this guy here. I caught a Shelter because why not? I hadn't seen one spawn in a long, long time while I was looking for the... Uh, 
the star use. So I'm like, oh, shelter, okay. I caught a couple more polywags because I was looking for a polywag with the proper nature as well. I can't remember what that nature was right now, but I haven't found him yet. I also have this guy who uh, evolved actually. Speaking of evolutions, I accidentally evolved the Wormadam from the Burmy. I was planning on uh, t taking it to uh, a different biome, but it evolved here. So it's a bug and a variable type? Is that what that stands for? Not exactly sure what that means, but its speed is 21, so it's horrible, horrible speed. Uh, what's its ability? Anticipation, dangerous moves. It senses its dangerous moves. So what does that mean? Like, it's, is it gonna tell me? Dangerous move upcoming? Uh, but yeah, that evolved too. So now we've got a Wormadam. Um, what else did I catch? There's this, the Quilava that I just caught. Oh, I wanted a Rog and Rolla, and I wanted it with Adamant or Brave Nature. We've got Hasty, and we've got Mild. And then I caught a Bronzor because it looked cool. Oh, look at the shadow from the tree. That's awesome. I got a Jolteon and a Leafeon. The Jolteon I'd, I'd caught before. Oh, sorry, the Leafeon I'd caught before. I just got the Jolteon. So, um, oh, oh, and another surprise. Look what I caught. That's a shiny Magikarp. So was that. I have two shiny Magikarps, in addition to my shiny Sableye. Oh, I have an Abra over here too. What are the stats? Modest nature. Okay, well you can you can go, you can join your brothers. Let's get this, I like to keep things organized. Let's get this ghastly, let's put the shelter up there. Ghastly here, and that there. Okay, so, uh, hope, oh, I think I see a Vulpix. Perfect. I was gonna say hopefully a Vulpix spawns. Ooh, but you know what? I don't have Zangoose with False Swipe right now. It's a level 19 Vulpix. Let's try Wormadam just to hit it just a little bit. Tackle. Yeah, that's what we want. Tackle again. Beautiful. I don't think I'm going to do it again. Let's just go Pokeballs, Dusk Ball. Oh, now I have my Vulpix. I need a Firestone Shard, or a Firestone, sorry, which I have tons of shards. So I can evolve him into the Nine Tails, and I might use him in battle, or I might not. I'll keep you guys guessing, and I'll keep my my opponents guessing. Hey, is that Stenstone? Yeah. It is. What in the world is that? Am I being invaded? What is happening here? Why are there so many of these things here? And what are they? Let's go take a closer look. What? What are these? Wait a second. They don't even have names. Uh. Oh! Oh, that's water underneath. Oh, boy. I meant to throw out the Pokemon. But I had I had Charizard selected, so that doesn't it doesn't work that way. What are these things? Hold on. Can I climb this? Here we go. Can I? I don't know if I can... I don't even, I don't know what's going on. Uh, why are there a bunch of fluffy heart lipped bats flying together? What is this about? I feel like this it, it's like some sort of event. That didn't work. Huh. They friends? Well, when a boy bat and a girl bat... <laughs> no! I, I need to take a screenshot of this and send it to them later and see what what they make of it. I really don't know what's going on. I'm going to try Bat Brigade. Um, I'm going to try to maybe select a different guy here and just like, where am I? Like right here. Okay, that, that probably didn't work. Retrieved him. I retrieved him again. They don't even have like names or anything. So, ah, no. A Swoo Bat. Okay. Char Charizard is immobilized by love. 
He's flamethrower. Am I going to fall and die? Oh. Oh. Wow. That was close. That was really close. They need to fix that. Is that a Murkrow I see over there? I thought I saw something, but maybe. Ah, it is a Murkrow. My eyesight for Murkrows is incredible. Speaking of incredible, these Murkrows are so hard to catch. I get them down to one X, one, one HP. I, I, I get a Dusk Ball at night or a, or a, a, um, an Ultra Ball during the day. And these guys, they do not go down. Like, it is ridiculous. Shuckle? Revenge? I just want your shell. Oh, revenge is not is not the way to go. Scratch? Scratch can be even worse. I should be using... Oh, crap. Can I change out? Yes, I can. Here we go. All right, so the reason I'm at a Mesa is because I want to catch a few more Rog and Rolas and hopefully find the right... The right... Um, oh, nice. The right nature. So I'm going to need a shiny stone. And you get shiny stone shards from using a normal type Pokemon and having him forage a stone block. Am I right about that? He didn't get anything from that, did he? Can you have him forage the same blocks over and over again? By the way, I'm on the edge of this mesa because the rock and ro rock and rollas. I keep calling them rock and rollas. The rock and rollas uh, spawn at dawn, dusk, and night. So we're just about ready to go hunting for one. Here, try this one, guy. Let's wait for that forage refills there in the top corner. Can you get that? Oh, I don't. I don't think that worked. Did you get anything? Does he, like, does it pop out or does it go into my inventory or what? I have no idea. Anyway, it's time to search for Rog and Rollas. We'll continue our search for shiny stones soon. But now, Rog and Rollas, where are you at? Found one. Rog and Rolla level 16. Uh, Pokemon? Zangoose? Zangief? Who gets that reference? I hope you do because it's a pretty easy reference to get. Wow, false swipe is not very effective. Not that I care. I don't even care about types right now at this point. I just want to get them down to as little as possible. That looks that looks about right. And now we will reach into our bag of balls. And we'll grab a dusk ball. Hopefully increase the odds of catching them. Sometimes these guys escape even with one HP. Even with dusk balls or ultra balls. There we go. Hopefully he's the right uh, nature, but we're not going to find out just yet. We're going to keep searching for more. By the way, the shiny Magikarp, if it's not the perfect nature, then it's totally... If, if you're watching me, anybody on the server, it's totally up for trade. I'm willing to trade that shiny Magikarp, if someone's interested, for uh, something else. A shiny something else would be great, but... So what the heck? Wait, this is a Bulldor? Bulldor level 40. What is that thing? What is this thing? Claydol. Hmm. Let's give Wormadam some levels here. And now we're going to switch it out for the Charizard. Nothing affects me. Flamethrower. Boom. Oh, wow. That did a lot. Oh, that, <laughs> that kind of... Finish it off with Dragon Rage. Beautiful. Clay. Pink Terracotta. Interesting. I think these guys right here have a chance to drop Dusk Stones, and I'm going to need the Dusk Stone for the Murkrow. Like, there's lots of factors going on here. Um, but let's see. Not the stones itself, just the shards. Did I did I mess up the thing? Uh, I think I messed up the attack here. There we go. Slash. Ah, Blaze Powder. I'm pretty sure it's those guys that give you a chance. Or Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hound Doom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's these guys. So let's uh, slash him. Yikes. You know what? We should switch this guy out because uh, we want to be able to fly home. So let's go and bring in Dredagon. Sure, sure. You can burn me. Whatever. Oh, burning is not good either. Let's just scratch you. Oh, scratch wasn't enough. Dang. Okay. Well, well, we'll revenge you now. Ouch. That's hurting. Let's see. Nope. Nothing. I know there's a not a great chance that you'll get a Dusk Shard, but there is a chance. So if we find a couple more of those, I'm going to try again. In the meantime, we're still not done looking for Rog and Rollas. Oh, I thought I, I saw another one there, but it is a, it is a Houndoom. Houndour. The Houndoom is the evolution. Oh, there's a Rock and Roll over there. Oh, crap. Uh, 
Uh, Dragon Rage should do it. No, it didn't do it. Dragon Rage again. Ah, we got a bone again. Maybe maybe they changed that. I don't know if the wiki has been updated. Okay, so we got this guy. So let's go ahead and catch him. You know what? Pokeball, quick ball. That'll do the trick. First move, chances are high. Nailed it. Another evolution. I'm currently leveling up uh, Abra. So now we should have a Kadabra. And then an Alakazam when you trade him. But I'm going to wait until he's level 25, obviously. Because why not? Your Abra evolved into a Kadabra. Yay! Did it learn any other moves? Because it uh, has nothing right now. Moves. Nope. Still has teleport. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Buneary wants a piece of this. Okay. Buneary. Hope you enjoy hot flaming flames. It's so rainy here. Oh my gosh. You'd think there were some Minecrackers on this server. There are. It's just me though right now. Uh, there's another Minecracker that just joined us. I'm going to leave that a secret until he starts posting videos. If he posts videos, because he's very inconsistent with that regard. But he's a terrible, terrible person. An evil genius, if you will. Anyway, uh, I've got my Kadabra up to level 25. So we're going to put it away for now. My team is slowly being built. Kadabra. Uh, oh, first let's get his, uh, his, his uh, power belt off of him. We'll put the Kadabra in with these guys. These are all my, these are all my possibles. Uh, I guess I should get the star you. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use... which. What's his... Uh, He's a hardy nature. Um, I couldn't find uh, a timid nature, so I think I'm just going to go with him. However, okay, I want to I want to upgrade the Vulpix as well to level 25. It's at 19 right now, and I want to get the Wormadam to level 25. Why? Just because I don't think people will be expecting a Wormadam, but maybe I won't even use it. Who knows? The Quilava might be a good one. Oh, that's right. I caught a Pikachu. Uh, he's got a mild nature, and he's got a quirky nature. The mild nature, special attack... Defense is eight. That's kind of, that's kind of not good. That's kind of not good. I mean, I like the special attack being boosted here, but this guy is sort of like just average. He's a huge growth, which is cool. I don't know which one of these I should use, but let's put these two over here for now. Let's put this one over there. The Rog and Rolla. I still don't. I might still go looking for another one, and the Ghastly. I might still go looking for another one. This Star U is a jolly nature. Boosts the speed, but the special attack is lowered, which means that, I mean, he's got a physical attack rapid spin. This is a special attack water gun. And then we've got adamant nature. Special attack is lowered. Attack is boosted. So I think maybe this is probably the best one to go with. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to get the hang of these things. Look at this. These beautiful people. We've got Fnasau. We've got Megafire. We've got another person that was here. It's amazing. Uh, okay, so let's grab... I guess grab the star you. Yeah, let's do. I don't have the time to go look for the proper natures for everybody. So one of them is going to, or a few of them, they're just, it's not going to be ideal. But let's put the power belt on the star you, which I can't remember what that boosts. I think it boosts special attack. Let me find out real quick. Nope, it boosts defense, defense EVs. So that's good. Why not? I mean, you can never have too much defense, right? Uh, okay, let's get Vulpix up to level 25, and then we've got to evolve him with a Firestone. A Firestone. I almost said Firestone Shard, but just a Firestone. That's level 46. Let's switch out. Put in Dredagon. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Apparently, I pronounced somebody's... Oh, Suicune, is it? Suicune? Su Suicune? I don't know anymore. But I pronounced it really bad in the last episode. I don't even remember how I pronounced it, but apparently it was terrible because everybody told me about it. Uh, level 20, level 21. Ooh, Will-O-Wisp. The user shoots a sinister bluish-white flame at the target to inflict a burn. We got Fire Spin, Baby Doll Eyes. Uh, lowers its attack stat. This move always goes first. Tail Whip. Let's re replace Tail Whip. Wait, yeah, let's replace Tail Whip. Oh, what the heck? Sentret wants a piece of this action. I don't know what Fnasau's doing uh, to this guy, but it's probably not good. Vintage Steed. <laughs> nice name. Look at him. Look at him. He's, yeah, what is going on? What are you doing back there? But there you go. You've unmounted. Oh, Kadabra. Level 18. Okay, what's the magic trick? She's showing me a magic trick. Let me touch the spoon. Oh! 
That's cool. How do you do? Can I do that with mine? I don't have mine here. Otherwise, I would try. This gold dog needs a remodel. This thing is looking dated. Where'd you go? No idea where she went. Uh Oh, she's got an evil... Maybe she's invisible now. Who knows? A fur fru? Man, some of these Pokemon are ridiculous. So close to getting my Vulpix to level 25. What the heck is that little guy? Is that a guy or is that a plant? That's a little guy. A Ralt? What's a Ralt? I want it. Bag, Pokeball, uh, Ultra Ball right away. He's low level, so maybe I'll get him the first try. If not, I'll uh, I'll bring him down a little bit. He broke free. Okay. Did he just... He just healed me. What the heck kind of Pokemon is this? All right, let's get the Zangoose. Zangu He's healing me. This is amazing. Um... I guess I could, like, <laughs> switch out the guys that are injured. Oh, no, he also does damage. Okay. Uh, all right. So, bag, Pokeball, Ultra Ball. Here we go. So, like I was saying, I'm here to upgrade my Vulpix or, or level my Vulp Vulpix to level 25. We're really, really close. We're at 24. And I thought, why not level them in... Whoa, there's another one of those things. It's probably not very uncommon. It's just that I've never seen one. Uh, why not level him in a birch forest and here's why because there's a chance that I find a turtwig while leveling this guy that's right turtwig levels or sorry uh, spawns there's a toga tick I already have a lower level toga tick that I'm gonna work on but turtwig spawns turtwig 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 spawns uh, in a birch forest biome so we're just gonna walk around here a little bit I'm pretty sure it's during the day as well there's a beach with level 50 Ooh, this might uh, where'd it go this might do the vulpix Mm, that B drill will probably wreck my team, though. Not my team, but like a couple of my guys. Right? Maybe not. Here, let's try it. Okay, I missed. Come here, Vulpix. Okay, every time I every time I throw it out. And I know I can I can like command him to go and after him and stuff, but it's fine. Okay. He used rage, hurt by poison. This is what I was worried about. And this guy is the guy that I'm worried about the most just because um, I have to fly home. Oh, wow. That flamethrower was fantastic. Level 25. There it is. Take. Okay. So let's lock him in so we don't make any mistakes. Boom. He's now disabled with the leveling. I've got Once once I get home, I'm going to use the Firestone and we're going to have ourselves a Nine Tails, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. Did I tell you guys the story why it's one of my favorite Pokemon? Because, see, I've never played the Pokemon games. However, I did play with the cards for a little while when I was like 17 or 18. And I got, I didn't get very many and I didn't get too deep into it. But one of the cards that I got was like a shiny Ninetales card and it was beautiful. And from that day forward, I thought that that should be my favorite Pokemon. There's your story. I know it was amazing. No need to thank me. Um, but you can if you want to. Kudos to Fedrin for grabbing my stuff. So what happened was, um, what had happened was, I was in, uh, not sure how many dust balls you had. Uh, probably not, how many, uh, 16, that seems about, it's stacked with mine. That seems about right. Thank you so much. Uh, so what happened was, I was, I was traveling around. And I was uh, trying to catch or trying to find a Turtwig. And then a boss, a boss Spearow, I think, came out of nowhere. And I'm like, huh, he was flying in the air. So I, I, I got him. I, I, got, I hopped on my little guy and I flew behind him and I tracked him down. And then I threw, my, I threw my, my ball at him and then I started fighting him. And then when the battle was over, I fell to my death. I feel like that's a mechanic that maybe should be changed. Like if you're fighting something... Because there's really no way to no way to actually fight him other than getting up there and throwing your ball at him. So I feel like maybe if that's happening, you should probably like get teleported down to the ground after the fight is over or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm crazy. But that's just my thoughts on things. Okay, so dive ball, net ball, ultra ball, dusk ball. I think I'm missing the quick ball and the timer balls. But that's okay. She could take that as payment 
It might have, it might have mixed with hers. She could take that as payment for rescuing me. Um, assuming she um, has them. Everything else looks to be in order. The Vulpix is level 25. Let's get home. And let's just let's just get home and relax a little bit. Let's keep this out, actually, because I'm going to need that. Uh, let's get home and relax. And let's, I guess, evolve this Vulpix into a Ninetales. I'm so excited. A Lucario spawned up here? Hold on. Hold on. Can I? Oh, come on. If I do, if I... Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to push him off. If I attack him up here, then you know what that means. That means I fall off when the battle is over. Did I push him? No. This is going to be interesting. Okay, hold on. We could do this. We can do this. A Lucario. That seems like... That seems like a good one. I feel like that's a super rare spawn. Uh, let's see. I guess I could just grab a bunch of these guys. Firestone boots give speed. There's Firestone boots? He's not talking about these, is he? I have old running boots. Plus 50% speed. What are you talking about? Firestone boots. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, okay, is this going to be enough? 33 blocks. Uh, that's probably enough for me to reach him. Let's go right up here. Well, this guy obviously won't be for the tournament because he's a little bit higher level. But I don't think I could pass up this opportunity because I feel like these guys are rare. I thought I read somewhere that they are super, super rare spawn in this in, in Pixelmon. I could be wrong. Oh, he almost knocked me right off. Did he die? I don't think he died. Do they die of fall damage? Is he still there? <laughs> yeah, he's still here. Look at that. Level 30. Okay, uh, let's go with Zangoose. Get him down here with False Swipe, although False Swipe might use might, might take a little while. He protected himself. Well, let's try False Swipe again. This time, maybe you won't protect yourself. Good, good. Is this guy any good, guys? Is this guy any good? So let me know in the comments. Okay, you're protecting yourself again, huh? Beautiful. Just delaying the inevitable, my friend. Okay, one more false swipe. Yikes, that hurt. All right, it's nighttime. Dusk ball. I only have 16. This should be enough, though. Let me add him. Nailed it. I captured Lucario. I'm happy about that. Let's get out of the rain here. I've had enough of this rain already. Oh. As soon as I went inside, I think it stopped raining. Well, that's... Is really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let's evolve Vulpix, shall we? Let's get our Firestone Shards. I think I have enough. Oh, I, I have plenty. I think it's just nine of them. If I'm not mistaken. Like this. Perfect. Firestone Shard. Now I hold it in this hand when I have the Vulpix out. So, Vulpix, you are now out. Ooh, we have somebody watching this, this, this transformation. There we go. Vulpix is evolving into nine tails. I'm super pumped, guys. Don't tell anybody about this. Apparently, it's a large Vulpix, too, so it's probably going to be a very large. Ooh, yeah, that's huge. That's big. Oh, wow, look at that. Nine tails, you're gorgeous. Oh, it's going to be great. I got to teach you some better moves, though. I don't think it's got the greatest moves right now. Here, I'll show you guys. Will-O-Wisp, which uh, inflicts a burn. Baby doll eyes. <laughs> Move always goes first. Uh, lowers the opponent's attack stat. I guess that's okay if you're looking at uh, sticking into, in like a, a long fight or something. Fire spin. Uh, four to five turns. And faint attack. Attack never misses, power 60, and it's a dark attack. So that's kind of cool. But I feel like he could have better uh, attack. Is it a he or a she? It's a she. I feel like she could have better attacks. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I see another targeted Pokemon of mine over there. We're about to trade. Um, oh, oh, we're not going to trade Alakazam just yet. Okay. Or Kadabra, I should say, into Alakazam. There's the Meryl. I feel like this is this could be a strong one too, guys. Or maybe I'm just throwing everybody off. Bag, Pokeball, uh, ew, Dive Ball. It's a water type, isn't it? I don't think Dive Ball is going to be effective because it's not in the water. Let's see. 
Yeah, he broke free. Okay. Okay. Let's grab oh, not not a let's grab a poke. Let's grab Rog and Rolla. Is level 16. Maybe just do oh okay, well, maybe <laughs> we won't do that much damage to it. Headbutt it, bubble beam, and it's dead. Perfect, just as I planned. Okay, star you. How about you sigh wave the little guy? Good, good, that's better. Sigh wave him some more. Hmm. Water gun him. It shouldn't have too much of an effect here. Perfect. Bag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. Here we go. Let's catch this Meryl. Add it to my potential roster. <laughs> he threw a snowball at me. Apparently, he threw a snowball, ran away, fell into a hole, and got run over by a wild Pokemon. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so we got the Meryl. I'm hanging around here. There's this very small little ocean biome set. Are you? Oh, you are a boss. You are a boss. Okay, so you are level 65, level 55, 57. Uh, oh, I keep going into into bag now. Uh, and I guess I'll just fight him. I was gonna switch to a smaller guy to get his uh, experience up, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just fight him and see what we get. A mental herb. I have like four of these things now, maybe five. Anyway, as I was saying, there's this small little ocean biome right here, and I'm hoping a star you will spawn. I'm uh, I'm still hoping to get. A star you with uh, with a timid nature. The one I have on me right now is not exactly timid. It's hardy. It's got a hardy nature, which I think is not bad. This slowpoke is a good possibility too. Slow. There's this pupa. Sp oh no, I don't want to fight you, man. Come on. That didn't even affect him. I see one. Nailed it. Level 15 star you. Bag. Pokeballs. Dive ball. Let's do this. It's only level 15. It shouldn't be any trouble for us. Right? Turn to cool. Right? Yes. I didn't hear the bing. I was hoping for a nice uh, satisfying bing, but it didn't happen. Are there uh, any more around here? Any more star use? Hello? Star use? Where are you? Where, where are you? There's a joke there. Star you? Where are star you? No. The joke is, has been lost. Well, look who it is. The man, the myth, the legend. Mind doing... Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mind doing a quick trade with me? Huh, Nebzy? Hey, Nebzy boy? Hey, Nebzerino? Hey, Nebaroni? Not at all. Okay, good. Let's get it right on this, right in this machine here. Oh, first I gotta get my guy. He better not steal my, oh wait, where's where's my guy? Oh, this is the one I just caught by the way, what is he? Bold nature, hmm. Bold nature, that might be a good one. Anyway, here's the Kadabra. Let's put you there, let's bring you there. Okay, Kadabra, Zigzagoon, ready, trade. There he is, he's evolving. He is evolving. My Kadabra is evolving into... An Alakazam. There he is. Alakazam. I knew it. Looking good, buddy. Good spoons. Now... Now trade back. <laughs> I don't want your Zigzagoon. <laughs> Thank you for the Alakazam. Ah, uh, classic Nevers. Ready? I wouldn't be surprised if he did that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We got an Alakazam now, and he's level 25. Might use him in the tournament. Might not. You never know. Let's get this. So this Staryu is a hardy nature, and the one that I caught is a bold nature. Now, we were looking for timid. Bold. His defense, his attack. Ah... I don't know about that. And then we caught the Meryl, which is timid. That's probably a good nature for the Meryl, actually. And then we've got this Ralts, which I thought was rare, and then I saw about a million of them. And then we've got this Frillish, which I, which I thought was rare, and then I, see, I keep seeing a bunch of these guys, too. So um, it's not it's not as rare as I thought. That's that's all I'll say. Nice robes. Oh, speaking of the robes, I have those I have those available to myself as well. I just haven't uh, put them on yet. Mr. Mime, we need to level. So who's left here? The Rog and Rolla. I guess we've settled on the docile one. The Staryu and the Wormadam. 
Let's get those three guys up to 25 right now before we call it an episode, just so we know where we stand going to the next episode. Um, and then the next one, I'll probably do a lot of work on, uh, or not a lot, but some work on the house, and then we'll go do some more exploring and stuff. I hear there's um, grottos that need to be discovered. Guys, I've got, I got, I got a terrible disease. I've got a terrible, horrible disease, which I love so very, very much. Ladybug. A couple of my Pokemon have Pokerus. Four of them, actually, have Pokerus, which is actually Ladybug. a really positive thing to have. So Pokerus has the effect of, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, has the effect of doubling any EV yields Ladybug. that a Pokemon receives. This effect is cumulative with the Macho Brace. I don't have the Macho Brace, which then gives you a total of four EVs per every Pokemon defeated. If a carrier is in the party, the virus may spread to other party Pokemon eggs included. The virus automatically expires after time span of one to four real days, depending on the strain contracted. Once expired, it will no longer spread, although its EV boosting effects will remain. That is pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Four out of my six Pokemon right now have Pokerus. I'm not sure what that means. Hey, look, it's Captain Sparkles. Uh, but um, I like it. I mean, I like it. I don't know. I don't like. Uh, obviously, it's all positive, right? There's no negatives. It seems like it's all positive. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I going crazy? Electrike level three. Electrike. I've been trying. So we got the Wormadam to level twenty-five. So now all we need is the Rock and Roller and the Staryu, and then I'm gonna call it a day. This Lily Pup is too low a level. What is this thing? Oh, it's the smallest Minun I've ever seen. Minun. Mi Minun. Oh, man, these pronunciations are tough. We got Rog and Roll at level 25. Time for a Bulldore. And then I think he, he transforms into something else afterwards. I can't remember. I think it's through trading as well. But we, we won't. Well, maybe maybe we will do that this episode. The, your Rog and Roll evolved into a Bulldore. Heck yeah. Look how handsome he is. Love those eyeballs. Looking real good. The only one left for today, anyway, is Staryu. Uh, he's got to get to level 25 as well. Who's this guy over here? I bought a, 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 a Dawnstone from somebody over here a little while ago, and now they're gone. Move Relearner. It's a Relearner, though? So only the moves that you've unlearned before? Yeah. Heat Wave. Yeah. Okay. Not interested in that. I'd like to purchase some moves for some of my guys. That's not the guy to do it from, though. Wait a minute, the move relearner, he's never known this move unless he knew this move before I met him. So let's let's learn recover. I love recover. Swift attack never misses. That's good. Rapid spin. Also eliminates moves. Okay, let's use recover for him. Oh boy. Okay, this is a this is a game changer here. What about Boldor? He's got iron. Oh, I didn't get him to 25 yet. I thought I had him at 25. Iron defense, sand attack, harden, and tackle. Iron Defense, Steel, Accuracy 100, 50, and 100 for Tackle. I don't think I want... I thought Boulder was 25. How is he 24? I was sure he was 25. All right, well, anyway. So we still got to get him one more level up. Yeah. Uh, what about... What about... What about... What about Wormadam? Protect. And it was used to evade all attacks. Ugh. I don't like that one at all. I should get the other guys and see what they have. Actually. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Can we take on this level 68 guy? With Staryu? Will Staryu jump four levels if I just do I Ivy Sore? Okay. Charizard, you're in? This is good. Ivy Sore is gonna get burned. Nice. Aha! He jumped to level 21. Another Ivy Sore, perfect. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Okay, that beautiful flamethrower. I love it. What do we got there? Pidgeotto. I flamethrowed him too. Another Pidgeotto. They're all faster than me though. That's the problem. Oh, wow. I survived all of them. That's amazing. Oh, my Charizard is such a beast. Okay. Let me see here. Let's heal these guys up. I don't know if their other moves are any good though. And I have so many to check out. Like I have to check out. Well, they, he won't have any. No, you know what? I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, maybe Graveler. Let's see Graveler if the guy's still there. And he's gone. Of course he is. Well, at least he got one move. A pretty good one, too. Recover. 
I like using recover. Recover is a good move to have. Okay. There we go. Now he's level 25. Power gem. The user attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. The user hurls hard rocks at the target. They're both... Oh, that's a special attack. So I've got two physical attacks. And it looks like Smackdown is probably better... Because it's 100% or 100 accuracy, this one's 90, this one's got less uses, 2 to 5 rocks are launched in a row, although this one has a chance to do a whole lot of damage. So you know what? Mud slap, mud at the target's face, flick down to lower its accuracy, headbutt, I'm going to keep headbutt, I'm going to replace smackdown actually. I'm going to replace mud, nah, mud slap's a good one to have though. Um, smackdown, yeah. Okay, so he's level 25. Let's lock him in at level 25. Beautiful. He's got the Pokerus virus. Has it spread to anybody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, all of them have it now. Every single one of them have it. I should go and carry all of my Pokemon right now so they all get it. Right, there's a level 50 Hypno there. Let's get this Staryu aimed at him. Let's uh, bring Dredagon in. And we'll do Revenge. Wasn't very effective. It's not fighting is not effective against psychic, is it? Uh, I don't really have much other than normal attacks though with him. Here we are. Okay. Are you ready for this, Captain Sparkles? Are you coming Morning. inside here? There you go. Let's get in the trading machine. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just take this out in case something goes Morning. wrong here. Bulldo. Are we trading the same one? <laughs> No way! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Bulldor is evolving. That's so funny. So wait, did he trade did he trade mine? What exactly happened here? I'm not even sure what happened. Uh what? I got to cancel, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's my Gigalith level 25. So it turns out Captain Sparkle's Gigalith was actually fainted. So he had to heal him up before we traded again. And we did trade again. And so now he's got his own level 40 Gigalith, which is kind of cool. Um, but you know what else is kind of cool? Do you, see, do you see something different about me? Do you see what's on my wrist? Moments ago, this happened. That's right, I now have a Mega Bracelet and some Ampharosite. So I can evolve a Mega Ampharos? I think that's that's what it is. I don't know if that's any good. Like if that Pokemon is a decent, decent Pokemon. But it's kind of cool that I get to have a Mega something. Speaking of Mega something, this is a Mega ending. Hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, a Shopkeeper, what do you have? A Moonstone. Uh, I don't remember. I'm buying a Moonstone. I don't remember which... Hmm. I can't remember. Oh, it's the Dusk Stone that I wanted. That's right. It wasn't the Moonstone. But I'll take the Moonstone anyway. Speaking of mega stuff, <laughs> uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having so much fun with everybody on the server. And it seems like everybody on the server is having fun too. Thumbs up if you want to see more. I'm going to make more regardless. But it would be really nice if you appreciated it by just, uh, just, giving it, just giving a like. That's it. That's all that is required of you. Watch the videos and you give a like. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.